The Eagle and the Magpie, by Jean de La Fontaine. The Eagle, through the air a queen, and one far different, I ween, in temper, language thought, and mean, the magpie, once a prairie crossed. The bypath, where they met was drear, and Madge gave up herself, for lost. But having dined on ample cheer, the eagle bade her, never fear. You are welcome to my company, for if the king of gods can be full oft, in need of recreation, who rules the world, right well may I, who serve him in that high relation. Amuse me then, before you fly. Our cackler pleased, at quickest rate of this, and that began to prate. Not he of whom old Flaccus writes, the most impertinent of whites, or any babbler, for that matter, could more incontinently chatter. At last she afford to make known, a better spy had never flown, all things, whatever she might see, in travelling from tree to tree. But with her offer little pleased nay, gathering wrath at being teased, for such a purpose, never rove replied th, impatient bird of jove. Adieu, my cackling friend, adieu. My court is not the place for you. Heaven keep it free from, such a bore. Madge flapped her wings, and said no more. Tis far less easy, than it seems an entrance, to the great to gain. The honor oft hath, cost extremes of mortal pain. The craft of spies, the tattling art, and looks more gracious than the heart, are odious there. But still, if one would meet success, of different parishes, the dress he, like the pie, must wear.